excitement. I mean, it's exciting to get back on the field, uh, find out about your new players. I mean, you've seen them in the weight room all summer and, and uh, you know, watched them as far as their work ethic in a, in a weight room environment. But, but uh, it's a little bit different ball game here on the field, so it's good to see see what we have, and, and that'll continue to be a process for the next several practices. You know, you're not going to get a great read in just one day, but but uh, it's, you know, we got a good start on that. Could be back in two weeks, two months. Uh, may miss the whole year. May never play again. You know, it's, it's wide open, and really there'll be no comments along the way other than if something changes. So that's the status of it right now. Unless something changes, and we're not going to talk about it. Good start. Um, all of them did a good job of throwing the football. Uh, you know, it's going to be several days, if not a couple of weeks, before that starts to sort himself out, but uh, all three of them look like they've really done, uh, done the work this summer and stayed sharp. No real separation today. I, I don't know how friendly, I mean, they're, they're not enemies, but it's, you know, it's, it's uh, competitive and, and there's a lot of stake. I mean, it's the starting quarterback for a top 20 football team, so it's a, it's a, it's a big deal. Troy Williams brings an air of maturity. He's, uh, he's got great leadership skills. He's a confident young man. He's got a lot of poise. Uh, Tyler Huntley, big play capability, dynamic personality. Uh, can, can run the, you know, beat you running the football or throwing it. Uh, Brandon Cox, great decision maker. Knows the offense inside and out. Also a dual threat. And very, very good uh, as far as consistency. Very steady. His arm is fine. There's no... No residual effects of the injury. He's 100%, uh, which we knew you know, it's been the case for several months now. And uh, he, looked, he looked sharp today. Joe Williams is the primary guy right now. Uh, Troy is going to not only play some running back, you'll see him playing the slot a little bit. I thought the two freshmen looked good, Zach Moss and Bonte Henry Cole. Those guys did some good things. Well, that, that's got to be settled. You know, soon as well. Nick Nowakowski is running with the ones. Low Falamaka is running with the twos. Uh, after a couple of days of getting a look at that, we may experiment with, uh, you know, maybe uh, shifting a couple guys around. But, but so far today, it was it was pretty good. Those guys held down the fort. Now we didn't have any pads on today, so it's getting tough to get a great read on what you're doing up front when you don't have pads on. We've got good depth on the offensive line. I don't know any coach that would ever say we're a finished product right. in any way, shape, or form, but. But we feel like the depth, not only on the offensive line, but all the way through the roster is dramatically improved now as opposed to where we were when we entered the league.